chapter 16. Moab's refugees at Selah send lambs to Jerusalem as a token of alliance with the king of Judah. The women of Moab are left like homeless birds at the shallow crossings of the Arnon River. Help us, they cry. Defend us against our enemies. Protect us from their relentless attack. Do not betray us. Let our outcasts stay among you. Hide them from our enemies until the terror is past. When oppression and destruction have ceased and enemy raiders have disappeared, then David's throne will be established by love. From that throne a faithful king will reign, one who always does what is just and right. Is this Moab, the proud land we have heard so much about? Its pride and insolence are all gone now. The entire land of Moab weeps. Yes, you people of Moab mourn for the delicacies of Kir Hareseth. Weep for the abandoned farms of Heshbon and the vineyards of Sibma. The wine from those vineyards used to make the rulers of the nations drunk. Moab was once like a spreading grapevine. Her tendrils spread out as far as Jezer and trailed out into the desert. Her shoots once reached as far as the Dead Sea. But now the enemy has completely destroyed that vine. So I wail and lament for Jezer and the vineyards of Sibma. My tears will flow from Heshbon and Eliela, for their summer fruits and harvests have all been destroyed. Gone now is the gladness, gone is the joy of harvest. The happy singing in the vineyards will be heard no more. The treading out of grapes in the wine presses has ceased forever. I have ended all their harvest joys. I will weep for Moab. My sorrow for Kir Harasen will be very great. On the hilltops, the people of Moab will pray in anguish to their idols, but it will do them no good. They will cry to the gods in their temples, but no one will come to save them. The Lord has already said this about Moab in the past. But now the Lord says, Within three years, without fail, the glory of Moab will be ended, and few of its people will be left alive. 